Hey, how's it going, you guys? My name is Zenka. I'm founder of LightNet, where we help you experience something extraordinary. And tonight is one of those situations. I'm here with Arturis Ra. He's a musician. He's an inventor. He's a star seed. And we're going to be, you know, we got all this gear here. He's a gearhead like me. He lives in Sedona. And we have a lot of fun uh, testing gear out. Tonight, we're going to talk about brain waves. We're going to talk about Contact 250 uh and possibly raw's med bed and things like that but um first of all you know we were just talking about contact 250 you're going to be participating this is where we we get together friday and saturday night and then friday and saturday night again to make contact we're going to be hanging out with altair and we're going to be going up to schnedley hill which you know ron and i run around to all of the <laughs> bradshaw branches all the vortexes to look at ufos and orbs but shevely hill's a, a great spot um that you like to go to too right well i yeah but, i mean top to bottom there's so many so many places and spaces in, in sedona where you just have to just sit down and wait or have an app that can detect magnetic anomalies and watch stuff. This one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's a there's a regular Gaussian app or regular EMF detector. You, that thing will beep because we have magnetic anomalies in Sedona. We have actually the highest anomalies in the world, wow. and the lowest background radiation in the world over at Sedona directly as a nuclear background radiation. If you want to Google that. So you were talking about alpha waves. So so yeah, brain yeah, brain waves. So a lot of people talk about yeah, brain states and sober and breath techniques and this and that. I don't I don't care what it is, medicine, whatever you do, however you get in it. If you're not in a certain brain state, you're not catching it. A lot of paranormal things can be caught in a sober state, but that's like where where the dent. Sorry. We should keep going, but that's the, when we told the ETs to touch on this, we gave them the little human. So this is an app that we created um, um, during our Making Music with ETs uh, team. And Ricky Styles from um, VBE Inc. Um, built all these different apps and he built one just with crop circles. And we said, if we can have a common language with the ETs of symbols, it might be even better than having you know, just word by word, right? We wanted like phrases, sentences, meaning. And we asked them to find the human on here and they went straight there. But mm. anyway, keep going and we'll yeah. see if any, if any ET wants to show up with us tonight, right now, right here, in love and light for the highest good, you're welcome to come through. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, um, the universe is multidimensional. So we're always surrounded by beings and timelines and, uh, it's an ongoing infinite process. What we're trying to establish is, as a development of ourselves is to link with that, to establish a smart communication to elevate ourselves. For that, we need to first catch the communication. That means understanding synchronicities and then being in the right brain state mm. to even be psychic. And then Winters ha and many others have measured this. They measured these Russian psychic ki kids and they are coherent, first of all. Their, bra their brain state is in equilibrium. Like, yep. you know, the wings of a cherubim, same word, cerebellum, cherubim. This, wow. is, this, this is what that means. If you are in, in balance, you are actually in an angelic memory of what you used to be. You can say 500 million years ago, totally psychic, totally creator being, super being from an Eden world that you can't even fathom to imagine. Oh, That's what my name means, by the way. Ah, okay. Zenka. So Zen is balance and cause energy. Yeah. And when we balance that left and the right, yeah. just like butterfly. You, right? Yeah, you get psychic, like... basically. So wait, are they in alpha, though? Uh, oh, they're coming through! <laughs> so uh, it's it's partially alpha, it's partially theta. Um, they measure people that have literally a halo, have spiking alpha and theta correspondence, like very high electromagnetically and evenly. Yeah. And not only that, when your brain is like super psychic, you are in an equilibrium, like the hemispheres are balanced. And it's basically your, your four brain states, gamma, beta, uh, delta, alpha, and super gamma, yeah. which is like the, the yeah. super, super psychic state. Yeah. Your brain is singing the golden mean ratio coming from you sending it out. 
And that's where the rainbow body lies. When you know how to hold that frequency, you know, there have been extremes from sitting in a cave, meditating, all of this. Once you synaptically know how to hold it and remember it, you can do that. And then it gets really interesting because you will see all types of stuff walking around and flying about. So you guys, I, I don't know if I told you, but I just spent a week in BioCyber Institute where they wired me with 10 different or 12 different electrodes front to back hmm. to train me to get to alpha coherence from the left and the right in the front, the middle, the middle and the back. And what their research shows is exactly what you're talking about. When you get full alpha and full alpha coherence, you have a full on like Sumati experience. And that's what Zen monks who spend 21 years meditating have. They have full alpha front to back coherent. And guess what? Dr. Hart from the BioCybernet Institute has discovered that if this part of your head is coherent and in alpha, you can see angels. So which part is here? No, so it's the middle alpha coherence. I have very coherent here. Mm -hmm. And I, in alpha, and a very coherent alpha in the back. So where's, where's your alpha. gamma? Where's your gamma? You had extreme gamma? No. no? I, well, I don't know. We we just looked at brain scans for You didn't look alpha. at your baseline? We did. So what was your baseline? I don't know, because we had the alpha filters on. That okay, we were so it was, but, it was about alpha. Yeah, the, the other thing I want to say, you guys, is Ra's talking about alpha theta. Do you know what's between alpha and theta? Human resonance, which is the resonance of the entire earth projection, right? That, that makes so sense. when you're in that state, you're one <laughs> with the projection yeah, or whatever you want to call it. You're one with God. You're one with everything that Bliss. is, Bliss. right? Yeah. And there's this state in the brain, you know, what some people flip out or can handle it, where you see angels, UFOs, ships are decloaked because they're other dimensional and it's all visible to you. Yeah. Uh, not to name names, but this guy, Dr. DeGrassi said, oh, we got billions <laughs> of cell phones on the planet. Why does nobody record the ETs? It has to do with the frequency mm -hmm. and the technology is not built to record a multidimensional being that can appear to you because you built for it. Actually, Your iPhone is not built for it. Actually, you can record ETs, you but can. you need a flip phone that they don't make anymore because they removed the ability to film those ETs in modern cell phones. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we had all those orbs, they changed the chips and the <laughs> well, frequency. Let's get some flip phones. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have my old camera. I can, I can photograph orbs. You have flip phones. I, I have no, I have an old camera with a battery, oh, yeah, some Japanese yeah. model that that captures orbs wherever. Do you know what else but captures orbs? I saw orbs? I can't. Deer cams. Yeah. So but like literally like these these thingies like I mean all over in, in your room I, I actually have to charge that thing find the charger and bring that back online because it still has a USB port It's a yeah. freaking old camera like early 2000s, right. but it captures orbs So you guys um, Ra and I were out um, in You know out in the field. I yeah. should say the yes, other yeah. night like holy yeah. <laughs> Ra has his night vision um, camera so we're gonna have, we have these, which will put your, your brain in human resonance. We hope that you all are gonna be coming to Contact 250. We're gonna be talking about all the gear. We're gonna be talking about um, everything. And we're actually, you know, if you're close to Sedona or if you wanna come out to Sedona, we have a lot of people traveling here for the second weekend. Mm. Um, we invite you to come out. You get to meet and hang out with Ra yourself, <laughs> get to talk shop. Um, and remember, you guys, Alpha is love. So Altair is the most pure, loving human I think I've ever met. I think if we muscle tested him, he would be through the stratosphere. Uh, so just being in his field for these two weekends is going to be powerful. Being with 250 other people that are in this, you know, we have 50% experts, 50% newbies, which makes a great combination of awe and wonder and also comparing notes. <laughs> so we invite you to check it out. Um, go to lightnet.org slash Sedona250 to find out more. Uh, do you have anything else to say, Ra? Yeah, it's uh, when people are in coherence, it gets really, really interesting. And then that's where the alpha is also your empathic skills. It's really 
feeling what the collective that you're with is feeling is actually where the, the way to go mm -hmm. to really get the, dy the, the dynamic of everybody else around you and then we connect way 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 better and um, I think like what Zenka is um, setting up here and has set up should be the future for all major cities uh, to be do, uh, doing annually if not even synchronized events where we do that so the expectance level of the protection of them coming in is actually even more stabilized and uh, even stronger yeah you know you guys Rob makes a great point you know we we like that studies the power of eight at nauseum <laughs> so what i don't know what power of eight is when you get 250 people together but it's a strong coherent field so you're right it's really really you can go with the wave on this one. Like you can be there as a half believer, I think, and have a powerful UFO or an ET experience just by the the weight of the field, the collective field is gonna be out there. Um, so, so yeah, yep. The rest is basically exper experience because once you have experience, nobody can make you a non-believer once you have experience. That's so true. That's what the Nithayanda, the guru of, um, India says that experience is the ultimate, basically. Yeah. Once yeah. you know, it can't be unknown. Right, right. You once can't you, unknown. Once you know, you can't unknow it. And it's so joyful, you guys. It's just it's like, fun. it will restore your your curiosity and joy in the world. Like, you're gonna start to wanna know more and more and more and more because this stuff is the cutting edge of everything and it's the galactic age is coming. And if you're getting a pang in your heart right now, and one experience this love will see you on the 21st. The flip side. The flip side. <laughs>